Hello and welcome back! So, we have two situations and we got this new ability, Dragnet, gain extra situation rewards. What does this mean? Complete any active situation in target district for 40% of the rewards. Um... Okay, so this means I get 32 bucks for clicking on this, right? And it just disappears. And we also, and also, it doesn't go up necessarily, right? Yeah, I mean we're good. Uh, we also track down the alloy thieves. We have to do that. <laughs> uh, for that, we get sixty intel, which is uh better. I mean, it's it's very close. Although I do have a lot of credits now. And uh, I kind of want to focus on getting specific districts up to rank 3 now. It seems like uh, Major Crimes Task Force is not a, not a priority. So currently the plan changed. Instead of going from uh, rank 1 to rank 2 to rank 3 in all districts, the, ch rank, uh, the plan changed to rank 1 in all districts, maybe rank 2 in missions in districts that I, I go in missions in, so I get extra rewards. But most of all, I want to rush rank 3 in each category. So that will give us an extra uh, research that allows us to put in two guys here. Not like I have way too many people uh, just chilling their heels, but I do have one. I have eight characters and one agent is idle. And of course, uh, Training. I'm not sure what we want to focus on most of all. Maybe Spec Ops. Spec Ops gives us intel. Spec Ops would probably give us the the, the best uh, return. So we're gonna get uh, 60 intel here. The leader of the progeny is a woman who calls herself Violet. No last name, no known origin. We now know why they're called the progeny. She induced the psionics of each and every member. The sheer psionic power required is alarming. Consider Violet extremely dangerous. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, that probably means that if I take her out, maybe we will get away. Well, we definitely get better with psionics, I suppose. Okay. I'm Floyd Tesseract, and I'm part of the reason you lost your world. I was an architect of the invasion, as much as a slave <laughs> to the elders can build anything. But I broke your world. You didn't know how to fight back, to think for yourselves. Well, you better start, or someone else will do it for you. And who will you blame this time, hmm? Huh? I'm Floyd Tesseract, and I'm here to show you why you should have believed. What? Two days toward Operation Reveal. To unrest in downtown district. Well, that's nice. What, what kind of sucks is that these are gonna go up by a lot. We have a frag grenade here. I don't want that. And here we just get bucks. Technically, the best option is going. I don't. I'm not sure if like speeding up the mission is is a good idea. I don't know why. I suppose the big advantage is that this would go up like one every turn to five, so that would be four days, and after that it would still rack up. Four more unrest onto the city anarchy, and I would not be able to do anything about that. Well, I could do vigilance on it, but still. So this is fine, and also this is a decent district to target. This would go down to a one. Secret stash. Uh, that is a district that I would like to go in mission in.
But there's gonna be an unrest there. So we're gonna have a mission here, for sure. So what I should do is we're gonna quarantine Old Town. Hmm. I'm not exactly sure about this uh, course of action, but it's not terrible. Then we send the APC over here. Uh, Zephyr is ready, Bluebud is kinda ready. Uh, let's go with Tracer rounds. I'm not sure why we have 25, 20 aim already. Enhanced SMG is just plus one damage. Okay. So I guess we're going. Why don't we have uh, access to some grenades? I, I need to make items available, right? Play like that. Although it's very unlikely that we will use. Uh, we shall see <laughs> what kind of ability Stork has. Apparently, some kind of a a pool with uh, a disable. The aliens who live here reported frequent power spikes. Now, Intel suggests the progeny have moved in. We should go here because we only see four guys. Encounter one out of one. Breach! Breach! It's pretty unlikely that we killed the Thrall. I mean, 50%. Okay, the Brute is exposed. Let's shoot at him. Someone else will kill the Thrall. Shooting at the Brute. RNG. What? No, why Grace? Can we kill the other thrall? Okay, let's finish off the brutes. Wow. Every pause is filled with notes. Explains the power spike. Destroy that server. Okay. So, do we use a Zephyr a punch everybody ability? I don't think so. Do we need to destroy the destroy the server to stop the reinforcements? Okay, well, we know what's gonna be the finisher move. Should I just shoot at the server now?
Okay, let's shoot at the server. Okay. So the Thrall will act soonish. This Thrall will act as well. I just kill one of them. We can also go for a flashbang on the two that ha have Watch abilities. This. So they will not use that. Oh, immune to mental effects. Come on, Perry. Tongue pool. This is just an action. Free action. I can tongue pool my teammates. I can also tongue pool anybody. Tongue pooling the sorcerer is a bit tricky. Let's tongue pool the codex. Okay, apparently this is a free action. It will deal two damage for sure. Yeah, but free action sounds like it, but we didn't get to shoot. Not as free. Uh, we should blow up the server. Wait for it. Now. Okay, we're not going in for a for a hit on the sorcerer because the server is gonna blow up. Behold. What? He even had parry. I guess he doesn't care about that. No. I want to see what happens with the snake. I suppose we can go for a heal. I can do that later. Yeah, just try to tank. So you cannot shoot while you're killing someone. Dealing more damage and preventing them from... What if I release the bind? What if I sustain the bind? Oh, will I only do two damage or two more damage? It seems like we do two, two damage only, and we will, we don't shoot, which I don't like. I quite like shooting because basically we are trading one of our guys for one of their guys. I'm not even sure if it's gonna work on like super difficult ones, but this is a bit dodgy. I mean, it was not a free action technically. But if you release, we, re we can release and shoot. I, I suppose we can just do tongue pull. We don't have to bind necessarily, that's, that's situational. We can still tongue pull, and that gets them into uh, getting murdered range quite a bit. That gets them out of cover. 
But if I release the the codex now, that's a bad idea. So we're gonna sustain the bind. And the codex will not take a turn. Okay, let's go for a heal. Let's get just in case this is gonna be a little inside. longer. If you think it's best. Embrace the silence. Okay, she's dead next to her. <gasps> Run away! Oh, we cannot even shoot at the Codex. Oh, man. Alright. The Sorcerer will die. What if I let him go? I'm trying to learn how that works. So we kill the Sorcerer. The most annoying part is that the, the the target will have their action. Oh crap! So that target who's bound, uh, we don't have to kill. So we can technically just capture, just bind the last target, and it counts as dead. Okay, we're just learning, but we didn't get max chance of intel, only eighty percent. It was it was a shorter mission, I suppose, but. Still, I still want 20 intel every single time, okay? We still got intel. Promotion's ready. Hi, Zephyr. Question for you. It's Zephyr. And stop making fun of my accent. No, I bask in it. It's my favorite of all accents. Get stuffed. Wait, I, I didn't get to ask my... Oh, crikey. Okay, promotion's ready. Uh, let's promote her. Zephyr enters Reaper mode. With Reaper active, downing enemies with melee attacks grants an extra action. Each subsequent melee attack has reduced damage. What? How much? By one? I mean, it's not that easy to kill people with melee attacks. Many times, uh, that's not happening. Most enemies uh, clearly have higher than 5 HP. Okay, the rifles will be ready tomorrow. Okay, situation. We have to go there. We can't do the situation now. Damn. So this will reduce it by two, and we can further reduce it by... By two. Wait, this reduces it by... Plus one per... Field team. Oh, that's very interesting. This will be a free. Okay. How does this work, though? I can't can't read it now. Or can I? I can't. Ah. Uh, so this would be only a, a 2 here, right? But it's a 4 here. It still seemed to make sense. Because we take it down to 0. Kind of similar. We would waste 1 here. Okay, uh, let's target Riverside, and we just simply go here. We can't do the situation. 
Uh, we have to deal with the anarchy. And there's nothing to do here. No upgrades. Tuesday. Uh, keep in mind, we probably want to do an upgrade damn soon. Uh, at least in two days. And it should be a different sector. We already upgraded the finance sector. It shouldn't be a finance sector. It might be technology. Or... I think Spec Ops would be the best. I'm not exactly sure which one is that. I There's a good chance that is uh, security. And I have a security rank to Renova Heights. So maybe Renova Heights will be the one that we upgrade. Uh, but anyway, uh, deal with the very difficult anarchy. So we didn't learn too much about the snake. I think I a little bit misused it. We can just pull in people and shoot them in the face. But of course, the difficulty is that you spend one action on to pull them in, contraband. and then everyone can have a, a better chance of shooting that. Low visibility enemies are harder to hit. First unit through this entrance gets uh, bone armor for the encounter. Okay, let's go. go Encounter go one it, out go. of three. Uh, seems like these are more difficult. Uh, let's go up to the resonant. Mm, there's a chance of killing the acolyte. We just want to take a regular shot. That's fine. What are you guys up to here? What seems to be the big idea? Oh. They're stealing another server, I guess? There's some computers here. Oh, we can do Reaper. And this is one... Ah, oh, four turn cooldown. I can move around quite a bit. But it's pretty unlikely. Can I kill the soldier? Uh, should kill people based on their order. So this trial could be dangerous. But also that soldier is probably a better choice. Wow. I can't even reach him, I guess. Let's just punch this bruiser. Smashing extremity. No delight from the past. Yep, pretty damn tanky. Immune to mental effects. <sighs> but we can pull someone in. No. I can pull in a hitman. Pulling in the bruiser would be the best. Then go for a finishing blow, right? Because if I try to go for a hit, we have some okay hits. I mean, not not great. But for example, the, using the tongue is a lot easier. This trooper is next. I can just bind him, but I don't really want to do that. Kind of already acted. 
Okay. We can't kill anybody, right? What about this guy? Don't pull him. I got you. We have an SMG. Tracking target weapon. Okay. So obviously that's a good shot, but actually we might not want to take it. We might want to just uh, punch him. Although this is a pretty long encounter. Go for a regular finisher. You're under arrest. Eradicate him. If Blue Blood dealt more damage with his pistol, he would be damn OP. <laughs> we need that. We need we need some pistol upgrades. Because right now he's good, but he can be ridiculous. Uh, do we need heals? I guess we do. Let's get your insides back inside. As long as it can keep up. And I guess we can knock out the soldier guy. I intentionally sent Zephyr there. I want him to tank. Or to tank, whatever. <laughs> Frawl. Okay. Uh, let's take out the bruiser. Yeah, just take out the bruiser. Fracturing. Wow. <laughs> How did you miss? So our best shot is a 61, which is not the best. I guess we're gonna pull in the brute. Get over here. <laughs> But instead of binding him, we just shoot him in the head. It's an enhanced SMG, so not, not the super basic one. I don't have any targets to shoot at. That is a little lame. I need a better angle. Move fast, stay low. Moving to position. Shoot Zephyr. No, he's trying to go away. That doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, let's do a heal. Then subdue the frawl. Another collar for the medic.
I don't care about mobility. All non-aggressive enemies guarding this entrance are surprised. Wow. This is pretty damn good. Uh, armor for the encounter. Doesn't matter too much. I guess the snake is okay. Lost it. Wow. Okay. Uh, seemingly quite quite a few people in here. Uh, Damage brute. Trooper in the back. Let's let's punch the trooper in the back in the face. Then uh, we can damage the cobra. Which one we want to kill? Let's try to kill the brute. Can I just soften up a target? Uh, not even for now. Okay, which one can you get? Uh, that seems more viable. No! Okay. Armor certainly helps. Heading over. I keep forgetting that Zephyr only does four to five damage when entering. Uh, all the crippling blow. Alright. I think I'm right. Oh, that's six damage. Or he doesn't ignore armor. Some something's going on. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, that's a lot of people. Who are about to act. Can I just go Reaper here? I would need to do it in a way. That the kills just line up. It's time for some snooker. So we first kill the snake. Demolishing. Then we kill the trooper. Or maybe the Brutes. Yeah, the Brutes. <laughs> then we kill the Resonant. Shattering. Okay. Then we kill the Trooper. Splintering. I only do two damage now. What if I go for a, a mega kick? Does that do less damage as well? What if I do uh, like a mega I'll kick over here? Is this ability? No, th this doesn't do less damage. If I finish with that, we're fine. Chew okay, open there. Oh, stop that!
So, blue blood can kill the brute. The bruiser most likely doesn't have enough damage to kill Zephyr. This trooper is super far away. We can also go for a shot and punch. We might want to use the frag grenade here. Trooper is super far away though. I can I can't do a shoot and punch, that's for sure. We can do a frag grenade. And I can also pull in somebody. But not this guy, right? What if I pull in the brute? You come here. That's not what I was hoping for. So this is a free action, but it's also Okay. Kill the acolyte. Tossing frag. Then kill the brute. You lie down for a bit. I need, I need to really get the shield on Zephyr. Target in sight. He's in danger. Do we even have the dodge here? Okay, sorcerer last. Uh, that's not the best. Throwing grenade. A lot of them are immune. So that's the best chance to hit. Can I take out the Acolyte in the back? Because our, our medic is not usable because of that. I just punched the brute. Hmm. So let's heal Zephyr. Let the high tech spray do its work. But on top of that, we're also gonna second vent and heal everybody. Especially Zephyr needs it. It does seem like the game is not really set up in a way that to encourage you to uh, experiment with like rookies. So we can take out an acolyte. We can also take out an acolyte in the back. This is a five to six, so not not a guaranteed kill. That is a guaranteed kill, but of course this can be uh, like a stun as well. They're going to the next area. So these missions are always pretty fucking hard. I, I thought that I maybe I was I, I jumped the gun a little bit 
for going uh Okay, let's let's uh tongue pull the sorcerer. I went for the the the, uh, the shield a little bit too early, the armor. But it doesn't seem to be the case. Moving out. Oh, it's going away. Okay, uh, let's kill the trooper. I guess I could have used the explosive barrel next to him. Uh, do I want that? We may want to capture him. Let's just overwatch. Uh, go for a heal. There's not much we can do. I can do an overwatch. Got you covered. Deep breath. Pick your shots. Fracturing. Okay, can't wait to see the last fight here. God damn it! What the fuck? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. But this is uh getting intense. At least these fights, where the unrest gets just a, a little bit too much. All units entering here get uh, 25 aim during the breach. Uh, yeah. Let's let's go for that. I like shooting quite quite a bit. I suppose uh, Blue Blood would be an excellent choice of using items because he only has the dumb pistol that does less damage. Time to move. An Archon? Oh my god. Let's go after the Archon. Although. We can also just kill the Archon with the Bind in, in the end. The Bruiser is not a, not a big deal. Trooper behind the Archon. Let's go for the Trooper behind the Archon. This Frau will act. So will the Resonant. Let's go for the Trooper behind the Archon. Taking out the Codex. Okay, let's take out the Thrall. Okay, let's take out the Thrall for sure. Yeah, we can't stop that. We want to take a better shot. Uh, we can take a shot at the Codex. This is not how I would uh, fight. I would just stay the far away, as far as I can, and I don't know, just shoot at them with snipers. Just play it safe, okay? This is mental. Uh, yeah, I guess we could have killed this Archon. But we can just finish off the Codex now, so we don't have to deal with that. Shattering! Wait, what? Prevent enemies from escaping? Wow. Okay, let's move up terminal. If he already has a good shot, but I, I guess right now we don't. 
Who's gonna come? Just two bruisers. One trooper is really low. Can I pull them in? No, we can't see the trooper. Can only pull in the brute, the cobra, the resonant. Do I want to call in? Uh, I mean, pull in the bruiser? No, not really. I don't know. Okay, let's pull in the the resonant. Time for a face to face. It's not exactly a kill unless we get a very lucky crit. I suppose we want to go for a heal. You just need to kill really fast in this game. Okay, I mean that should be a kill. Torque is panicked. Fine. Closing on target. Liquidating. And because of the breach mechanic, it's so damn hard to take cover in the first place. And everyone is around you. So, going with melee is not the worst idea. Can I kill the trooper? So we have a chance of doing that. Arbor is too far away for the melee kill. Let's kill the trooper. If we can. And next, can I do a lance attack? That makes sense. It only affects one square. Best chance to hit is on a bruiser. Cobra is not too bad either. And the Cobra is closer to the exit. Wow. Moving out. I don't like that. Okay, we have to use the heal. Can I use Reaper? Doesn't seem like it. So the Arkham will go away. The Bruiser has the bright idea of going away as well. So we're just letting the Arkham go away at this point. Uh, Overwatch removed. So this guy gets punched in the face. Uh, from the front. Maybe that will slow him down. Oh, stun. That's great. It's unlikely that we can stop the Archon from leaving. Okay, let's heal Zephyr. If you think it's best. Okay, the bruiser is stunned. He's not gonna leave. Uh, do I give an extra action? Or do we just take a shot on the bruiser? Disoriented also means slow down. Okay, 
Looks like we barely managed it. Which is a very common team. Actually, I should be shooting the other one. that this could be an insta kill so we take that chance and last we can only shoot the bruiser right well we can take we can shoot the other bruiser too Fine. Shoot this bruiser and we're gonna holo target it. So others have a better sh chance of shooting it. Uh, we gotta finish this guy off. Demolishing. He's not leaving anymore. Uh, there's nothing to do here. Just parry. And last, we're just gonna capture this guy. Not a problem. Shame you didn't resist. Oh. But we punched him in the face anyway. So, voting captures, we managed to get some intel. And that was just a regular unrest mission. And that was the hardest mission I had for some time now. Okay. Mastercrafted assault rifles. Ready and unlock potential for Verge is also ready. Uh, training complete. He can technically go for a Mind Lash. Mind Flay deals ad additional one damage to each enemy in the neural network. Okay, uh, let's see what kind of upgrades the snake has. I'm not loving the snake a lot, but. It's, it's okay, as long as no one is exposed, which is actually damn common. Uh, Torque spits a blast of poison at the target. The enemy will remain poisoned for two turns. Um, I don't know about that. What about uh, Sergeant Blueblood? Oh my god, I didn't realize he was already a senior agent. The last shot in each clip deals double damage. I don't know about that. Psaid Lance. Upgrades to ramp up its damage for each subsequent enemy it hits in a single blast. Oh my god, that's a total bit more. These are not amazing uh, abilities. Because I think the pistol... Can I, well, can I just check out the loadout? Yeah, clip size of 5. So this means... Even if we don't modify the clip size at all, this results in a like a. Actually, it doesn't result in a 20% increase in DPS because. How often do you see me reloading in a game? Never, right? I basically never reload. We never reload at all. And if it was like the first, first bullet of each clip. I would be on board, but like last bullet of each clip, uh, that's probably gonna come into play more. But also, he has increased clip right now, so I guess we would need to go for a uh, faster reload at that point, so we can reload for free. But even then, I cannot imagine this coming into play more than once in a mission, even in a long mission. I mean, maybe two in the, the final mission, if that's super long, but that, that's it. So, I mean, it, it, is, it is an upgrade, I suppose. It might come into play once. But in a, in a short mission, one, one mission, one short mission, it might never come into play. And then we have the Cascade Lance, which... Ramp up its damage for each subsequent enemy it hits in a single blast. I haven't hit, I believe, more than two people with it so far. And many times I just used it to just to be able to hit someone in the first place. And it seems like Cascade Lance doesn't deal extra damage. Yeah, unaffected by cover bonuses, 
and line of sight and three turn cooldown so what do we value i mean let let's just map this out best case scenario for the fun farewell every third round kind of two and a half round but let's just say third round that's more realistic we deal one bullet more damage or we cascade lands and uh my thing is this might not even matter and many times we are not running around because in order to use the cascade lands in order to set up the cascade lands i mean that that would be a best way to put it you need to move and by moving you actually give up one shot so if you make give up one shot to get one more shot on the cascade lands i mean that's probably worth it because the cascade lands ignores cover bonuses i mean it is okay at times but ah i mean if he moves just to hit three people i mean if he just killed two people with it for sure i mean cascade lands can be okay but it's more situational putting bullets into one target that seems to be more common so I'm gonna go for the fun farewell and this probably means we have to go for a different upgrade for the pistol also we have the free shot with the pistol that deals extra damage so that means we empty our clip a little faster as well what we should have is I shouldn't click here the 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 free reload that you can somehow get the first reload in a mission does not cost an action uh maybe the advanced auto loader i mean this even the basic auto loader would be uh good for that guy so that means this basically means you get one more shot this this that's what the auto loader says so we have the mastercrafted assault rifles which we also don't know or at least I don't know what it means. Uh, okay. These are a little pricey. Plus one damage for all assault rifles. AR grant shredder ability. Okay. I mean, obviously we are buying it. So what is the shredder ability? So, for example, Verge as an assault rifle and now we have shredder assault rifle attacks shred armor allowing subsequent attacks to deal more damage that is excellent that is really really good so armor will not be a problem because that is the only major concern that what if you run into a, a person that, that is the that is the biggest concern when you deal low damage what if you run into a, a guy who has like four armor and that's gg right we were fighting a Praetorian who had like four armor non-stop and we were dealing with one damage. It was it was really bad. One time. Psy of 90. Okay, sure. Uh, we can use the Major Task Task Force. It's Wednesday, so we should consider upgrading soon. But, most of all, Mastercrafted Submachine Guns, Enhanced Pistols would be really good. Improved med kits, Improved training. It allows two agents to be assigned to training. The problem with this, that, that it's probably the most garbage. I'm not sure if I want to train even one guy right now. <laughs> so we got Mind Lash. Do I care about Mind Lash? No, I don't. We got Patchwork. Patchwork can train. Uh, she can unlock potential, which means one utility item slot. Yes, but we're already not using our utility. If anything, we're using our abilities. He has high impact. Crowd control will apply a random debuff to each target. Potential outcomes include disarmed, rooted, and disoriented. Not stunned. So it's a little bit weaker version of the sing single punch. But yeah, it would take us five turns of Zephyr. 
uh, not being on a team. I suppose this is uh, an upgrade we should get because Zephyr will be part of the team uh, going forward. So Zephyr will get this. But what I'm trying to show here is that you can really run out of stuff to do because now we have one on Zephyr. Everyone else is like, yeah, can you get, even get anything? Mobility increased by 1, dodge increased by 15. Uh, yeah, but, but we don't want to move her away from the task. Most of these are just like, yeah, does it even help? This arm is good, rooted is kind of pointless, and disoriented is good. So, I, I suppose this is good going forward. It's, a, it's an upgrade, for sure. The thing is, like, do I even want one guy in here? I'm not sure. What I would want, most of all, is maybe... I, I don't even know if I want tech. If, if I want to rush tech. Maybe I should have uh, the spec ops. I would, I would, most of all, would like to put in two people here. We would have one in the recruitment drive, and maybe one doing the like work, just to like double down on intel. And that might even allow me to wait. Oh, the scavenger market increases sub two damage by two. How does that work though? Because, currently, wait, oh, never mind. I was thinking, like, putting this on Zephyr, but a Zephyr cannot even put on uh, weapon upgrades. So, that just doesn't work. And for everyone else, it doesn't really matter. Grants the running gun ability uh, as a... What is this? Shotgun, okay. And a frag grenade. We already got a frag grenade, and for 80, that's that's a really pricey uh, frag grenade right there. I I probably should have bought the reflex sight when it was offered to me. That sounded really awesome. Uh, I would like that, but uh, yeah, I mean, next time it comes up, we're buying that. So, what we should probably do is upgrade security, I believe. Tech would most likely open up. Wait, what are we doing? Uh, first of all, we gotta look at what mission we are doing. Because this one is going up. Actually, we should prioritize that one. The finance one. That's a rank 2 finance. But if we do this, then we also get rid of 1 and 3. And 1 unrest in the Riverside District. That's fine. Yeah, we, we can't freeze that. This gives us lightning, but this handles unrest better. And... Uh, both of them are missions. Just something to consider. I do want to upgrade this security. I'm pretty sure I'm right. But we're gonna do it next time. We wanna have the ability to put in two people into the spec ops because I value resources above all. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.